each medal that I've received represents something horrific. Uh, the first medal I received, it was an A-10 crash in Rimscheid, Germany, and we picked up body parts for seven days straight. We were in uh, the field doing war games, and we were in the armory, and Master Sergeant Williams comes running in, and he's screaming, get your weapons, get, back together, get your weapons back together. They said there was a down aircraft, we need to be deployed immediately. They kept repeating to us that you're representing the United States Air Force, re maintain your military bearing. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, there was an accident. As far as your eye can see, it was fire and buildings destroyed and people screaming. It was just as far as your eye can see, everything was death and destruction. And then um, the first body part I picked up was a man's thumb. And the guys were all looking at me. They wanted to see how I would respond. And I said, wow, he must, he must have been pretty big. I'm like, why do you say that, Powers? I said, because his thumb is huge. And part of you being recognized for the different things you did, you got certain honors, um, like you got to do certain things that not all people in the Air Force ever got the opportunity to do. So what were some of those things? I didn't get selected to guard the Vice President of the United States, President Gore at the time. And then I guarded the F-117 Stealth Bomber. There is a no-touch policy. Absolutely no one is allowed to touch the stealth. And President Mitterrand, the president of France at the time, one of his uh, colleagues went to try to touch it. And that's when we all pounced. When I guarded the F-117, it made me realize that people would kill other people just to save this aircraft. And it wouldn't matter who you are. And I think it was the first time in four years that I realized that there was a value to life rather than completing the mission. When it came time to re-up, they wanted to know why somebody like me that they were trying to maintain in the Air Force was wanting to get out. Because I was the, you tell me to do something, I'm doing it, no matter what. My mindset was so militant, and all it kept saying is, you must complete the mission. You must complete the mission. So when I asked permission to speak freely, they said, go ahead. And I grabbed my uniform and I said, this is the reason. And they were shocked and appalled. And they said, uh, Sergeant Powers, we don't understand. And I said, in the last four years, when have you seen me smile? I'm like, no. I said, I thought the military was gonna help me save lives, but instead it trained me to take lives because we, we're taught to hunt and kill. And so I wanted to change. And I needed to come back home to deprogram, to become human again. And it took me almost a decade to become human again.